My name is Yachi Lin. I've been in ISO for 10 years. I am the Senior Manager for Transmission Planning. Transmission is intended to deliver a large amount of electricity efficiently from one location to another. So here in NISO, I want to start by saying that we don't do this alone. Transmission planning is really a team effort. We started by taking a look, a realistic look, of what system today. What is iron on the ground? And what are the consumers that need electricity? We need to be able to balance the generation and the load. And what are the transmission lines that we have as of today? So having a realistic assessment of where we are today. Then the next is to think about what's going to happen in the next 5, 10, 20 years. And that has a lot to do with forecasting what the future demand is going to be and taking into account of where the re new resources are going to be interconnected. Then the third step is we combine these. Take a look at what the system needs could be. Is it driven by reliability, meaning that we need to keep the lights on? Is it driven by aging infrastructure, meaning something is getting old? Are we looking at new generators and a lot of new renewables that are coming into the system? So we need to identify why we're doing this. Next, then talk, talked about when we are doing this. What is the year we're going to need? And who is going to need it? Who, meaning who are the beneficiaries? So we answer all these questions from our side. Together, we work with transmission owners, generator owners, and policy makers. Come up with a systematic outlook. And then going from there, um, so um, we would establish a plan about where to, build, where to build, when to build, and how to build it. So when we're talking about uh, transmission development, there really has not been much, if at all, uh, not much. Uh, in the past 30 years. And so thanks to these new public policy needs, we're actually building large-scale, long-distance transmission line to serve multiple uh, purposes. Like I said, uh, replacing the aging infrastructure, introducing more and more renewable, and relieve the congestion so that the energy price could be more uh, levelized. Offshore wind is an exciting addition to the renewable generation fleet. So basically what it means is we build wind turbines over large bodies of water, typically ocean, and then we harness the wind energy um, to uh, generate electricity. So if you think about it, there's a lot of the wind farms dotted on the ocean. They need transmission lines to connect, to connect between the wind turbines to a collector station. When we collect to a collector station that's still in the ocean, we need to have transmission line to send power to a landfall where there's interconnection points to send to the land. And then from the interconnection points, we need to be able to deliver power to the rest of the state so state consumers can use it. All this is transmission. So that's why um, offshore wind itself is going to not only about the generation development, transmission development has to go hand in hand with it. So Western New York is one of the, the first public policy transmission need that we have. AC transmission is the second one. So throughout these policy, PSC first issued an order. Then NISO would go on to solicit proposals from transmission developers all over the country. And then we went on uh, to evaluate and select uh, the most efficient and cost-effective project to meet this policy goal. So instead of building something in kind just to replace it, how about we think a little bit further? We not only replace what's old and what's crumbling, we think about what's the changing pattern of the generation and the demand and then design something that would not only replace the old, but also fulfill the new goals. 